And Chinden Boulevard is back open, but that certainly wasn't the case yesterday. Mm. A horrific accident. Yeah, the road was closed at the Ada Canyon County line after several people were injured in a three car collision. Glenn Beebe spoke with sheriff's deputies who say things could have been worse if it weren't for some quick thinking bystanders. Firefighters and first responders rushed to the three car pileup, which trapped the driver of this gold car in her seat. Crews eventually had to cut off the roof of the car just to get her out and transport her to the hospital in Boise. Before emergency crews could arrive, a fire broke out in the engine. Deputies credit the quick thinking of other drivers for saving those inside. We had citizens here with four to five fire extinguishers themselves that had already put it on to the engine compartment of the vehicle that was underneath. Deputy Wilkie says even a passing cement truck did what it could to help get the flames out. Even a cement mixer that came through and was able to put water on the fire, which uh, isn't ideal because sometimes we don't know what those caustic chemicals, uh, if they'll combine with water, but in this case it did a good job. Investigators say an SUV was trying to dart across the intersection when a truck heading eastbound tried to swerve to avoid it. The truck then smashed head on into this car, which was waiting in the turn lane. The force of the crash was so great, both vehicles were taken back dozens of feet with the truck coming to rest on top of the car. Deputies say this is a good reminder about why it's important to be patient. Perception's reality. We all think we're clear, but uh, vehicles that are traveling 55 miles an hour, hard to judge. You just need to make sure uh, that you have enough time to enter the intersection. Glenn Beebe, KBOI News.